Good day, YouTube land. Boomer Plus Ultra here with my most requested video. How much does it cost to get all the skins in League? I see none of you are begging for more gameplay videos. My feelings are only a little hurt. I'll probably make more of those anyway because I can. Anyway, as most of you watching this video now, I uploaded a video about a year ago that I shot with my phone. Yeah, my phone. Some of you are really upset about that, but in my defense, I wasn't actually planning on uploading it to YouTube at the time and it was kind of last second. In that video, I demonstrated what happens when you get to the end of the League of Legends store. Basically, they start pumping out all the gemstone with the prestige skins and then, you know, nothing. I received a ton of comments from this video. Currently over 4,000. That is a lot of comments and has propelled the video to over 2 million views. Quite a few views for a channel that had basically zero subscribers and no other videos at the time. I got some nice compliments, you know. Very kind people out there. I also got some insults, some questioning my financial and fiscal responsibility and even my sanity. Uh, you know, good times down in the YouTube comments. I haven't counted them all up, but it feels like there were two categories that I received the most of. One of them was, imagine if he gets banned, you know. Don't ever type G-G-E-Z, you know, or uh, K-Y-S or any of these other things. Uh, and you know what? It's a very real possibility. I did actually talk to people who said they've spent thousands of dollars on the game and no longer have those accounts because they were permabanned for whatever reason. You better believe that I, since I reached the end of the store and I actually kind of did the mental math on how much I'd invested in the game, I do play the game more carefully than I used to. Uh, I am aware of that. That being said, since posting this video, I actually did get chat restricted a couple of times. I blame sleep deprivation. Um, I can be a little bit cranky, ask my kids, uh, when I haven't slept well. And my solution to that lately is uh, care less about the game, ironically, and also just mute all. The second I'm feeling even tiny bit tilted, first of all, probably a good idea to take a break, but uh, slash mute all, or even just play some games with, uh, you know, chat disabled team and uh, opposing team just from the get-go uh, is my usual solution. How's that going for me? Well, last season... I got restricted twice. Second time, so late in the season, I couldn't actually get back up to honor level 2 or 3 or whatever you need to get the gold skin. And so despite being platinum last season, I did not get Victorious Atrox. May he rest in peace. So this season, I was a lot more chill, used mute a lot more, did not stress about hitting platinum, played a lot more ARAM, just played the game. I, I had a lot more fun, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, your boy hit gold. I uh, got that gold skin and I hit on a level five. So boom, there you go. I know what you're thinking. Boomer, it's been three minutes. I really don't care about any of this stuff. I only have one question for you. One simple question. How much did you spend? Just look it up. And, you know, it was a nice video, man, but how much did you spend? Just curious, man. Uh, how much do you think you spent uh, for all those skins that can be purchased in a regular store? Uh, you know, may I kindly ask approximately how much you donated to the Riot Foundation? How much did you spend? Uh, how much money did you spend? How much money did you spend on this account? For the love of all that is holy, how much money did you spend on this account? All right, let's get to it. Now... For reasons you would know if you watched some of my other videos, uh, I'm not going to run the calculator. It's just not going to be that helpful for you. Just believe me. Uh, there's there's too many issues I have with it, uh, not the least of which is it doesn't actually reflect all the money I've spent um, for a variety of reasons. There's a couple of additional problems, one of which is I bought skins using methods that don't exist today. And if somebody was starting to playing, uh, starting a collection right now, they would be able to get new skins using methods that weren't available to me when I added to my collection, you know, years ago. So how much I spent over the last 10 years isn't really all that helpful. The real question is, if you were starting a collection right now in November 2020 and you have zero skins, what would it cost you using the cheapest method to obtain a skin to obtain every skin that's currently purchasable in the League of Legends store? or rollable in the League of Legends store. And so the question is a simple calculation. How many skins can I acquire right now? And 
what's the cheapest I can get each skin for. So that's what I'm going to do for you. And we're going to multiply those two numbers together, and that's going to give you the grand total of what it would cost you right now to collect all the skins. And you can just figure out how many skins you have left to do you know, a, a calculation on your own of what it would take you to finish out your collection. Of course, there are skins that cannot be obtained using the methods that I would suggest for the bulk of the skins, and we'll have to calculate those separately, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay. Figuring out how many skins there are is a bit of a nightmare, and that's because Riot doesn't make it very easy. Uh, there's a couple of pro reasons for that. One of which is that they don't actually show you every skin. There's an unowned um, button you can check here, and I could literally just say, well, one I don't own one Mythic, I own all the Legendary, I'm missing uh, six Epic, and I'm missing, you know, let's see, um, how many Legacy I'm missing? 17 uh, Legacy skins. Uh, or others. Um, just add those up, bibbity bobbity boop. Well, guess what? They don't show all the skins in the client, even though it says unknown here. For example, they don't show unmasked kale. Uh, that's definitely a skin. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not there. Sorry. No collectibles uh, matches your search criteria. Now, unmasked kale is unavailable. Um, but when you try to figure out what skins are available, what skins are unavailable, uh, that's also a bit tricky because uh, there are some skins I don't own, like FPX Vein, which I refuse to purchase at full price, um, that uh, various websites say is in the loot table, but she's not, because if she was, I would have rolled her. Um, I attempted to roll for the FPX skins, and I got a uh, diddly squat. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they, I guess some websites made some assumptions about what was rollable. Previous uh, skins were available um, for rolling. So... Uh, in the um, championship series of skins, uh, but for whatever reason, the FPX ones were not, and I would assume going forward, the World Series uh, championship skins won't be. But yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. But honestly, um, it's it doesn't really do us any any good to figure out the exact number. I, I will say I own about 10, 15 skins that are un that are just totally unavailable now. I mean that's Riot Girl Tristana. Um, uh, that you used to just get for free from Facebook. You can't get her anymore. Um, I own the original Championship Riven. I own some Victoria skins. I own Rusty Blitzcrank now. Uh, so there's a few skins I own that you cannot obtain now. But, you know, the vast majority of them you can. Um, uh, I think there's something like... Uh, the best estimate I've seen is that there's around 1,146, maybe 1,150 skins, uh, if you somehow had them all. Um, so I'm missing, you know, a, a chunk of those. Uh, and I own about 15 that you can't own. I don't know, 10, 15, somewhere in there. So I think it's fair to say there's about 1,100 skins available right now. Um, that's, you know, almost 800 skins um, that you can purchase in the store uh, or um, get with prestige points or mythic uh, or, or the gemstones, uh, and then 304-ish. Again, not an exact number, even though it looks like it is. Uh, legacy skins that you can get via rerolls, uh, but you could not purchase outright through the store. So that's the number we're, we're going to work with. Uh, 1,100. 1,100. Um, and, on, you know, there are some skins that you, you, you can't get through rerolls, which is what I'm going to be talking about here in a second, that you can get uh, by purchasing outright. Uh, for example, Huntress Siver, who I, you know, didn't have for years and picked up recently, um, which you can pick up in the uh, store uh, accessories uh, bundles section, which I've purchased, so it's no longer there. Um, yes, so you can buy her that way. You have to pay nine seventy five full price. So add skins like that to the value that we're going to calculate here uh, in a second. All right. So as a baseline, we're going to look at mystery skin gifts. Uh, people have been doing this for years, and mystery skins used to be cheaper. Uh, at one point, I think you can get them for three ninety or three eighty or something like that. And for people who bought a bunch of skins during that era, you win. Uh, that's not necessarily the cheapest you can get them for, but uh, it's a pretty solid average. So right now, $4.90. And if you're real lazy, um, you know, 
open up some other accounts, start gifting yourself stuff. Um, uh, there are some limits on gifting, uh, you know, so it's, it's kind of an obnoxious method to try to collect uh, a bunch of skins all at once. But, you know, that method is there for you. And obviously 490 RP, we're going to look at uh, US numbers because that's where I'm at, uh, times 1100. That's going to run you around 539,000 RP, which, assuming you're buying RP in bulk, which if you're buying this much and you don't do it in bulk, you're crazy, is $3,611 US. Now, if you're smart, aka slightly less stupid, you can bring that number down to at least 400 RP, if not lower. And the way you do that is you watch my How to Whale series 1 and 2, where I go through in pretty good detail how you use your orange essence and how you use the, the shards and how you acquire the shards and how you determine which shards to go for uh, to bring that number down to 400 RP. It's a lot more fun too. I mean, it's just, uh, to me, more interesting than just doing, you know, gifted uh, skins over and over again, uh, you know, until the sun goes down. Um, yeah, I think 400 honestly is a worst case scenario. And if you're, if you're lucky, uh, with loot bags and whatnot, you can actually dip down to the 300s. And if you're smart with your orange essence, um, maybe even down to 350. But just conservatively, let's call it 400 RP. That comes out to 440,000 RP, which multiplied by the US conversion rate is about $2,948. Add a few bucks in for Goth Annie and Hunter Siver with the Digital Collectors Pack and the Champion Bundle, and a few other odds and ends that you can't get through the reroll system, and you're looking at about 3,000 bucks. So that's it. That's the answer. That's how much it costs to clear out the League of Legends store to beat this free-to-play game. Do I recommend that you do this? No, I do not. I also don't recommend that you collect your toenails, but I can't decide what uh, brings you joy in this life. So um, if you're going to do it, at least don't be stupid about it. And uh, watch my How to Whale videos. Do it smart. And definitely don't spend more than three grand. Don't spend four grand. Don't spend five grand. And certainly don't pay full price for all these skins. Um, it, the number's a lot higher than that uh, if you pay full price for everything, especially lately when the cheapest skins are 1350 RP. Um, you know, nearly $10 a skin per skin out the gate. So, you know, they want $50, $100 for these five, 10 skin uh, event releases every single month. Do not do that. Uh, so... Best of luck and happy hunting on the Rift. And this is Boomer Plus Ultra signing out.